Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gershon. Today's video is going to be a review of Kong Skull Island. I'm going to give you a quick feel of how I felt about the movie. Um, and then when I get into kind of spoiler stuff, uh, I'll throw, some, throw something up here or over here. I'll let you know when I'm about to spoil some stuff. So if you haven't seen the movie, you can watch up until the end, go see the movie, then come back and see see some of the things I really liked about the movie. So King Kong is King Kong Skull Island is kind of a origin slash not origin story of King Kong, but it's it's a really good movie. And I'm not a big fan of King Kong. Like I didn't see that last King Kong movie. Well, no, I saw it on TV, so did, that didn't really count. So everything was cut out. But I've never been a real big King Kong fan. But I gotta say, I really enjoyed this movie. I had fun. It was action packed. Um, I loved the creatures on the island. Like I wish there were more creatures, but the ones that they did show, they were very cool to look at. Oh, and it's also a beautiful movie. Like it's. The cinematography is excellent. Like the explosions are like beautiful to see. Um, but the acting is, it's okay. Like there's a lot of red shirts in this because it's a monster movie. So a lot of people have to die. So if you're going here thinking no one's gonna die, there's a lot of people gonna die. Get over that. So unfortunately, like the two stars in the movie are Tom Hitterson, I'm probably not saying that. Loki. Loki's the star of this movie. And I see why he does Loki, because he is just good as Loki. Like in this, I he is dry. <laughs> like I don't know if he's supposed to be dry, but he's dry. Like, huh. I didn't have any fun with him. Like I didn't I I didn't care when he was on camera. I really didn't. He did a couple things, but Ultimately, like, he's not that action hero guy. And they probably should have cast somebody else in this. But they got his name, so they wanted to use his name. And then also Brie Larson is this. And then this. Brie Larson is in this. And she is going to be the next Miss Marvel. Which, I'm trusting Marvel. Because they're not steer me wrong. Except for the Thor movies. I've never been a fan of those. But, ah, I don't know. She... She's not the greatest. Like, she's a good actor in, like, drama and comedy. But I don't know if she's going to be good in superhero. Because she wasn't good in this so much action-wise. Like, they're real stale. Both of their performers kind of real stale. Like, the best people in it or the funny people are, like, the red shirts. The people that are going to die. They are funny. They have... They 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 play like a one dimensional character, but it's a funny one dimensional character, and you enjoy seeing them on screen. Also, I think his name is John Ritter. He was in um, uh, Step Brothers with uh, Will Ferrell. He's hilarious in this. He's great. I love him in this. He's awesome. John Goodman is in this too, and he's man, he's okay. Like John Goodman is a great actor. He's okay in this. He helps move the plot along. He's there for that. But, um, John Ritter, his character is awesome. He's funny. He, <laughs> one-liners. He has one line, it's in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. He goes, ah, you guys are a nice young bunch of guys to die with. You shouldn't have came here. You're gonna die. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's great. Um, Samuel Jackson is Samuel Jackson. He's basically Samuel Jackson, which... You always can depend on Samuel Jackson to be Samuel Jackson. And he does a great job doing that. Totally great job being himself. And it must be nice to get paid to just be yourself. Because he's getting paid a lot of money just to play himself. He's awesome at it. Um, um, yeah, so they, they get on the island, of course. And then they meet Kong. And it's, it's a beautiful island. <laughs> it is a beautiful island. It's awesome. I just wish they would, sh like, did more with character development in this movie. Like, they really, I mean, but you you, you shouldn't be expecting character development in this because it's a monster movie. 
you're there for Kong, and you get a lot of Kong. Don't get me wrong. This is not like that Godzilla movie where you get like two seconds of Godzilla in a movie called Godzilla. No, you get Kong all the time. He's just walking around sometimes. And you, they're just following him like that. And he is massive. Like the special effects on Kong are amazing. The special effects team on this, it did a great A job. Kong looks amazing in this. Um, like I think they're doing a cinematic universe type thing with these monster movies and... I'm on board if they do that, because I, I like this movie. I had fun with it. Uh, they need to get, I guess they don't really need human actors. I mean, every so often you get somebody that's more than one dimensional, but you've got to have people that are funny in it too, though. So you you, you, you got to have a lot of red shirts because people got to die. But that's the only thing I would think they need to fix is get a better ratio of funny people to dry, dry people, and you're good. Um, What else? So, uh, we're going to start getting into spoiler stuff. So, I'm about to get into spoiler territory. So, if you would like to give my ratings on the movie, I give a either a 7 out of 10 or maybe an 8 out of 10. I definitely say you should go see it in theaters. Like, it's the special effects. Don't see it in 3D. I don't see anything in 3D. 3D is a waste of money. But if you like 3D, go ahead. Go see it in 3D. It'll be awesome in 3D if you like 3D. But I definitely say go check it out in the movie theaters. It's a nice, beautiful movie to watch. It's a nice little action in it. Don't go for the acting. Go for the action and the see Kong. You're going to see Kong, and that's what you want to see. Okay, so let's get into some spoilers. So I like the cold opening where uh, John Ridley's character is young, and he is shot down fighting a Japanese um air pilot they both crash on this island and it's like 1944 so they crash and they're fighting and they end up f fighting on this cliff and then kong pops up and then the movie starts and then as the movie's going through it's going through kind of fast forward through time and each uh stars our actor's name come up uh, they do a little thing where they said you know, Tom, Tom Hiddleston, um, Tom Hiddleston, and then it did like 1945. It did that within the credit scene, and that I thought that was really cool. It was the first time I've seen that. At least I've seen it. Maybe it's happened before, but I thought it was really cool. So they did that like four or five times throughout going through the span of from 1944 to 1973 to 74, I believe. And I thought that was a really cool effect. And, I, I, I'm, I'm easily impressed, so it impressed me. I like that. So basically, John Goodman's character is a part of this organization that's investigating creatures, giant creatures in the United States during the war, Vietnam War. Vietnam War. That's when this whole thing is set, is during the Vietnam War. Um, he's trying to get permission to go on one last mission before the Vietnam War cancels. And he finally gets okay and blah blah this and dude from uh from I'm I, Corey oh, I forget his last name dude from um straight out of Compton that played Dr Dre he's in this he's all right in this he's all right also the dude from also from straight out of Compton that played Easy Easy in this he's great he's funny he's hilarious uh this is running joke with uh dear Billy. That's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's very funny. But then it's kind of sad. Because the Dear Billy starts off with this guy writing a letter to, one of the soldiers writing a letter to his son. And he says, Dear Billy. And everybody starts off saying, Dear Billy, I'm sorry I didn't come back because I'm about to go shoot some more planes down or something stupid like that. But it's a running joke and it's funny until you realize dude died. So Billy's never going never gonna to get this uh, letter. And that's sad. Billy's dad side. So that's sad. But it's a funny joke before that happens. Then you realize, oh, Billy's dead. But <laughs> that's that's the good things in this movie. Like, they make fun of good things. And that's one of them. Um, so after John Goodman gets the okay to go to this island, Samuel Jackson is some helicopter captain. His crew, and they're about to ship back home. And he's kind of mad because he feels like the war shouldn't be over and they shouldn't have pulled out. So he's got a chip on his shoulder. And he gets called for this mission and he takes it. He's like, yeah, let's go do it because he wants to do some war shit. 
I don't understand it, but he wants to. So that's basically his character is he's kind of an angry captain, <laughs> an angry or lieutenant or whatever, high superior, he's angry. Um, so they get all the equipment, soldiers come aboard. Um, oh, the kid from, um, what was that? Oh, what was that movie? Oh, I forget his name. He was in that movie where those three kids had that rave party and Ha, ah, I'm going to post it here. I can't remember the name of the movie, but I'm going to post the name of that movie and who that kid is. He's in this too. He's kind of funny. He's kind of good in the movie. He has this one part like, ah, uh, it's like, you guys are way too calm. Way too calm. That was hilarious. Um, So all the soldiers are getting together, getting ready to go to the island. And <laughs> they get on the island. They're in helicopters. They're dropping these um, seismic charges to get a read out of the ground down below. Um, and that starts to wake up Kong or make Kong come up here because apparently Kong is the protector of this island. So that's a good twist that I didn't see coming that Kong was the protector of this island and he saw them as intruders. So in that midst, you see Kong for the first time. Well, you see Kong for the, well, I see, I like that. The movie shows you Kong within like five to seven minutes of the movie, you see Kong. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to see, if the movie's named King Kong, you're supposed to see him. And they show you. But this is the second time you see Kong, and he just goes on a rampage and starts destroying these helicopters out the sky. He is literally grabbing them, chucking, and then like, here's the thing. You see a giant ape? Why do you go, hey guys, what's that? It's a giant ape. Don't go by him. Fly away. You have a helicopter. But nope, they continue to fly at him, then they start shooting machine guns at him, and he's just destroying them. He does get hurt, and he gets hurt by one of the propellers, but it's 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 minor, but it, it shows that he can get hurt. And so he just massacres everybody. He kills a good load of the red shirts. Chopper, all the choppers go down. There was like 10 choppers. He takes them all down. He is just, oh, there's one part where they're trying to shoot at him. They're flying towards him, shooting at him, and he jumps up, and they shoot at their own helicopter. I'm like, come on, you're army trained. How are you guys doing this? That's ridiculous, but they do. So, um, Khan destroys him, and then he walks off. Uh, Samuel Jackson doesn't like this. He's upset. He's super pissed. Now he wants to kill King Khan. So, they're trying to figure out um, a way to survive because they have to survive for three days until they can get picked up again by the ship that dropped them off. So they end up getting split up into teams. Um, Samuel Jackson takes a decent amount of soldiers and then Loki, because I'm calling him Loki because I can't remember his name. I don't remember his character name, so I'm calling him Loki. Loki takes um, Brie Larson, um... One of the guys from, um, he takes Dr. Dre, because I can't remember his name. I'm going to call him Corey. That's his name, Corey. Takes Corey, and they go off trying to get to the north side of the island. Samuel Jackson takes his band of soldiers, and they're trying to get back to the helicopters that crash to get some bombs to blow up King Kong. That's his plan. So in the midst of it, they run into some of the creatures on the island. They run into this giant spider. And this thing is massive. He kills one guy just by shooting his thing, his leg down into his mouth. That was vicious. Didn't see that coming. That was a surprise. Awesome, too. And they kill him. They cut off his legs. It was gory. There's spider guts all over one guy. That was nasty. But that was a, he looked really cool. Um, then they saw this giant buffalo. They didn't kill a buffalo. Uh, one guy was about to kill a buffalo, but they were like, come on, calm down, it's a buffalo, he's not doing anything. And he was massive. Um, oh, and this one guy ran into one of those bugs that looked like a branch, but this bug looked like a log. He was sitting on him, <laughs> and <laughs> the bug got up and he started shooting at the bug, but then the bug saw one of these lizard creatures that's on the island that's kind of King Kong's enemy on the island, which he protects the villagers, because there's villagers on this island, he protects them from these lizard people, these lizard things. So the bug saw the lizard thing, he ran off, and the lizard thing ate the guy. The dear Billy father guy, he, that's how he died. 
Oh, it was vicious. Oh, before he died, he saw King Kong fight a squid. Yes, a squid. The squid was in the water. King Kong came walking in the water, and he, I guess he was hungry, and he grabbed the squid. The squid was choking him, wrapped around him. King Kong bit the squid's legs off and commenced to eat the squid, and then dragged the squid away right after he crushed the squid and all the ink came out. That was cool. That visual was awesome. It looked good. King Kong looked good. The squid looked good. And it was in water. Broad daylight. It was an awesome scene. It looked good. Um, what else? What about the losers? So then John Ritter, I think that's how you say his name. John Ritter found um, Loki and Brie Lawson and was like, hey, I figured out you guys were coming. And then you find out that the Japanese guy he was on the island went got killed like maybe a month ago or so. So he told they had a pact that one wouldn't leave without the other. So he ended up taking his sword, symbolizing him, so whatever. But John Ritter was like, hey, I've been here since World War One or what was it, World War Two? I don't know my wars. It was one of the wars. Whichever one is before the Vietnam War. Pretty sure that's World War Two. World War Two. We're gonna go World War Two. He's like, we've been here since World War Two. Um, so glad. I've been trying to get off the island, but I'm glad you guys are here. Let's go. We don't want to be out here at nightfall. So he takes them back to the village where the villagers live, and he's telling them about Khan, letting them know that Khan's a protector. He protects them from these. What do you call them? Skin crawlers? Skinwalkers? He was like, okay, I thought the name was stupid. I didn't think the name was stupid until I said it out loud. You call him whatever you want to call him. That was funny. That was a funny little scene. They get in contact with uh, Samuel Jackson crew after they fix a boat. And they're like, hey, we're over here. Come over here and we can head over to this place. So they meet up with Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson's like, well, we got to go get these bombs from here. They had to go through this graveyard to get to the bombs. And that's when John Ritter's like, oh, you guys are a young, nice young bunch of guys to die with. Shouldn't have came here. You're going to die. Still hilarious. Uh, so they're going to this graveyard. He's like, no, we shouldn't go this way. Trust me, this is where the skinwalkers are. You, we shouldn't go this way. Samuel Jackson's like, well, this is the quickest way. We're going this way. And for some reason, Loki's like, yeah, let's go this way. That was stupid. Like, you see bones and stuff. Why are you going this way? But, of course, they go that way. And, of course, one of the skinwalkers is there. And he starts to murder people. He murders, like, four or three dudes. He murdered this one dude that had a Tommy gun. And he's sitting on top, which is really cool. It's a Triceratops' uh, skull, and he puts a Tommy gun on top of it, and the Skinwalker runs him over, and he didn't seem like he shot at anything. And also, they these people have rocket launchers and stuff, and they never use them. Like, why wouldn't you use them on anything? There's a big lizard thing coming at you. Shoot a rocket at it. Don't shoot him with bullets. Shoot a rocket. He's giant. <laughs> but they don't, which makes no sense. Only time somebody uses... A grenade? Okay, we're gonna talk about that. So this one guy <laughs> in the bunch of soldiers, which is, he's funny too. I forget his name. He's a character actor too, but I forget his name. I'll post it right there. Um, he, for some reason, I think it might've got cut, but he all of a sudden, he's like, oh, he can't take it anymore. He's gonna sacrifice himself for the rest of the team. So he takes his, he has like six grenades. He unhooks them flicks him and then he's standing there for the skinwalker to come get him it's like the mama daddy skinwalker the big one and instead of the skinwalker bite him he just hits him with his tail and he flies off into a mountain and blows up <laughs> it was hilarious like i didn't see it coming i did not see it coming i thought he was gonna bite him and then spit him out and then he would blow up in front of him but i did not see the tail thing coming that was hilarious and i actually laughed I laughed out loud. It was hilarious. So let's, um, but as that, <laughs> but then Samuel Jackson comes up with a plan to kill Khan, and he uses napalm and burns Khan, and Khan falls down, and he's setting charges on Khan, and Loki's like, no, you can't kill Khan, because he's the protector of the island, and during the process of them trapping Khan or burning Khan, they awaken the um, main skinwalker, and then the man skinwalker is about to attack Khan while he's sleeping. 
and Samuel Jackson about to blow some charges, and then Khan just destroys Samuel Jackson. So it was really close to the scene of, oh, I don't know, spoiler alert for a movie you probably should have seen that happened like five years ago called, is it Deep Blue Sea? Or, I think it's Deep Blue Sea. I don't know the name of the movie. <laughs> I forgot. It's some shark movie. So there's a scene where Samuel Jackson is trying to give this rousing speech to everybody and the shark jumps out the water and bites him in half. It's just like that in Kong. He just smashed him. It's real quick. And I'm like, wow. Sorry if I spoiled that for you, but it's like five years old. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's funny. It's still funny to see. It's still funny. So Samuel Jackson's dead. The rest of the crew are running off. Um, trying to get away from the Skullwalker. And of course, then you have the big battle scene with King Kong and the Skullwalker. And for some reason, there's a bo Oh, I forgot. Um, one guy dies by these weird birds with saws on their head. <laughs> he literally grabs... He, he literally gets grabbed up by the bird. And the bird... A couple other birds saw him in half in the air. That was, it was really reminiscent of um, Jurassic World. If you saw Jurassic World, it's like that. That bird scene. But, oh, John Goodman died. Uh, he got ate by a skinwalker during the uh, scene when they were going through the graveyard with um, King Kong's parents. And then there's this cool scene where he was trying to f use a flash. And John Ritter, John Goodman got eaten, eaten by the skinwalker while he was flashing. So then the skinwalker had the flash of the light. So every time you move, you hear and you see the flash. That was a cool effect. That was pretty cool. But back to the end scene. I hit the camera. Ha ha ha. Back to the end scene where um, Kong fights the main skinwalker. Uh, for some reason, he gets into a boat. He hits his sea boat and he gets on these chains. So Kong gets stuck on these chains. And the skinwalker is very quick. Like, very quick. I don't understand why he's so quick. But he's super agile. And he's doing some weird moves on Kong. And I'm like, dude, why are you so agile? But he gets the upper hand on Kong. He's about to beat Kong. And then Brie Larson shoots a flare at him. And I'm like, really? All these people shooting guns, you shoot a flare and it hits him in the eye. I was like, oh, that was terrible. Um, but then she gets knocked off some cliff and lands in the water and then Kong beats the skinwalker with like an anchor and he tears him down. But then that's that first death, enemy death. He comes back and he's, while Kong is sweeping up Brie Larson in his hand, he bites his hand and then Kong uses his other hand and goes into skinwalker's mouth. And pulls out his guts, which is really cool. That was cool. I'm not going to lie. That was cool. So, in the end, the people that survived were Loki, Brie Larson, uh, Dre from um, Corey from uh, Straight Outta Compton. Another guy from Straight Outta Compton played Easy e He survived. Two black guys. Yay. Uh, this Asian lady, or maybe she's Japanese. I'm terrible. She survived though. She was a doctor. She seemed to have some little romance with um, Corey from Straight Outta Compton. But she survives. And the kid from the movie that I can't remember the name of. He survives too. <laughs> and then they get picked up. Oh, John Ritter survives too. He survives and they get picked up. And then they go home and John really goes sees his family, has a beer, and watches the cup game. That's great. So, and then there's an after credit scene. There's an after credit scene setting up this whole monster universe. They show like Mothra and the three-headed dragon dude, and they show Godzilla. Uh, they show Godzilla, and which I'm so I don't know if it's supposed to be the Godzilla from. The last Godzilla movie, because that happened in like 2014. But they also said Kong is still growing, so he's like a teenager maybe. But I'm like, it's 2000, it's 1973. How are you going to get to 2014? Kong should be old unless they tell you, they have to tell you in the next movie like they age slowly or something. Because this is not going to make sense. But 
I'm looking forward to what they tell me because I'm in. I, I I'm not gonna lie. I like the I like the movie. I'm looking forward to the next one, especially if they do better with Godzilla. Because I'm not a big fan of Godzilla either. But if they show Godzilla more, like they did Kong, I'm back in. <laughs> and they gotta have red shirts. I want to see Godzilla King. And they gotta show more creatures. I want them to fight on another island. I wanted it to be another undiscovered island with a lot more creatures as you can see, which would really be cool. But that's um, my review of Kong Skull Island. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out my channel. Uh, give me some comments on um, what you liked about the movie. Also hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and there's a new little bell thing Hit the bell so you can see when I post a new video um, once you subscribe. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Alright, peace out.